Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Update Hour. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, which is led today by Flight Director Jerry Jason with Capcom Leslie Ringo. On board the space station, the members of the Expedition 33 crew are winding down on the end of two very busy weeks currently orbiting 260 miles above the South Pacific Ocean and heading toward the coast of Mexico. They are Commander Sonny Williams and Flight Engineers Kevin Ford, Anki Hoshide, Yuri Malinchenko, Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Terelkin, and uh, let's see, Williams, Malinchenko, and Hoshide launched to the station in July and will be heading home on November 18th. Today is their 111th day in space and 109th at the space station. Their crewmates, Ford, Novitsky, and Terelkin, just joined them last week, so they're on their 11th day in space and just their 9th at the space station. However, they definitely got off to a running start in their stay, which will last until March. The most recent of the big events that have been taking place this week is, of course, yesterday's U.S. spacewalk. Ford helped Williams and Hoshide on into their spacesuit and out the door for what turned out to be a 6-hour and 38-minute spacewalk. They started at 7.29 a.m. Central Time yesterday and wrapped up at 2.07 p.m., having rerouted the station's external cooling system to use an old radiator on the, radiator on the port side of the station's truss rather, truss rather than the usual uh, one, which teams here on the ground suspect may be the source of an ammonia leak they noticed in June. few views here from that spacewalk. Preceding that, there were a couple of significant events on Wednesday. First, the arrival of the Progress 49 resupply vehicle, bringing with it 2,050 pounds of propellant, 62 pounds of oxygen, 42 pounds of air, and 926 pounds of water, plus 2,738 pounds of spare parts, life support system items, experiment hardware and maintenance equipment for a total delivery weight of 2.9 tons. It launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome at 2.41 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday and arrived uh, less than five hours later at 8.33 a.m. for a docking with his Vesta service module. Following that, the thrusters on the Progress 48 vehicle docked to the Pierce docking compartment were fired to raise the station's attitude and avoid a small fragment of debris from the Iridium-33 satellite that flight controllers on the ground thought had a possibility of crossing paths with the space station in its former orbit. The maneuver, the maneuver was able to raise the station's orbit and get it well out of the way of the debris. However, only one set of thrusters on a single manifold of the Progress were used to execute the reboost instead of both sets on two manifolds. That meant that the uh, station's total attitude change was reduced from what had been expected the single manifold selection was a result of a software configuration. And all the burn lasted 10 minutes and was automatically terminated by the thruster cutoff limit. Regardless, as I said, the station was still able to get out of the way of the debris and the crew were never in any danger. In the end, for the uh, reboost increased the station's attitude by 0.18 miles at the apogee and 0.49 miles at the perigee. The station's now orbiting at an attitude of, uh, or altitude of 261.3 by 252.3 statute miles, with all systems functioning normally. And the week kicked off with a farewell to the SpaceX Dragon vehicle, which wrapped up its 18-day stay at the space station with a successful splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. It carried uh, to the station 882 pounds of cargo, including 260 pounds of crew supplies, 390 pounds of scientific research, 225 pounds of hardware. And perhaps more exciting, uh, since it's been a, a while since we've been able to return large amounts of uh, deliveries to the Earth, it undocked with 1,673 pounds of cargo, including 163 pounds of crew supplies, 866 pounds of scientific research, and 518 pounds of hardware. 
It's another busy day at the space station, and in fact, today marks 12 full years of busy days at the space station. On October 31st, 2000, the Expedition 1 crew launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a two-day trip to the space station, and they became the first crew to uh, live long-term on board it 12 years ago today, on November 2nd, 2000. Commander Bill Shepard and flight engineers Yuri Godzinko and Sergei Kirkulev stayed in space for a total of 136 days for that Expedition 1. That's what's been going on in space this week, and this is Mission Control Houston.